two shades for you. Ooh, smells good. Not that I'd put it in my mouth. Ready? You're supposed to say action. Action. Hey guys, welcome back to part three. We're gonna finish up John's axe. John is an axe thrower. So we are making some custom throwing axes with him. Let's pick out some hickory lumber and get started. Sweet. That's got checks in it. It's no good. Obviously not this piece. So this is trash. That's trash. That's trash. This and down is trash. What is this? It's, it's trash. 17 and a... Three quarters. I'm gonna make this slightly oversized. So by the time we're done, it'll be 17. 17 and three quarters is right there. So... Trace out this handle on the straight part, then move it up. And we'll be at 17. Six and three quarters. There it is. this square for now until we fit it then we cut it off time to carve the eye. I do that with the draw knife. So I've marked a center line already here. That's just a reference point. I'm gonna rough out the eye to roughly the shape of the, of the axe eye on the wood here. Want it to really gradually taper in. That's why I start back here and 
smooth it in instead of just like right here digging it out. See, so yeah, I just connect that in. You'll be good, maybe. Amazing how resilient the wood is. I'm alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. The bigger the axe, the bigger the kerf thickness needs to be. On the small axes, on the small axes, this thickness is great. On large axes, I actually like ream it out a little bit, and make it even wider. So this saw is just great. So come in, just cut straight. The other side the same. Like that. And then start connecting the two. Now they're one straight line. For whatever reason, that works really well for me to get it straight. Otherwise, you get like a slight angle, it looks pretty bad. All the way down, you see where it stops? Go to there. That's it. Also got to cut off this corner. The reason we leave that on for fitting it is so we have just more of a surface area to, to hit. That's that. Now we're going to knock off these corners more and round this all over. We're pretty deep there, so we don't want to take off any more material right there. So we're going to come in at this angle, take a little pass evenly, and then rotate it, and take more passes, and keep rotating. So we're all the way around.
This is the official weight test. From the official Taylor scale. Ooh. You're in. It's supposed to be one pound, 10 ounces? Yep. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> money. <laughs> and let's see, will this be eight? Will this be eight on the nose? Uh, it's Stop. moving, it's not moving. Uh, nice. That is beautifully crushed. That glue off. Favorite. That's a nice axe. <laughs> That's a nice axe. Mm. That's tight. Ooh. Like that. down like that. All right, we'll let those dry. In the video series here. We had a lot of fun. John, what do you think of the whole experience? Experience is amazing from uh, walking in the forge, heat, grind, woodworking, and then the whole party we just had. I don't know if you watched it on the live streams, but it was a pretty awesome night for everyone. We made these axes two days ago. They were blocks of steel, and we made them from scratch, and then we threw them. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, guys, go check out John. Go ahead and let everyone know your Instagram and Facebook. At the real there. John Bradley, and I'm just John Bradley on Facebook. If a picture of somebody throwing axes will probably pop up right away. There you go. So to go check out John, and thanks again for coming over and doing this, because this was a ton of fun. I, mean, I think we're going to be throwing axes for a while now <laughs> with these targets. <laughs> so thanks, and we'll see you next time.